I had to pull over in Danville, Illinois, which is right on the border of Illinois and Indiana, because I was trying to make a little video that would have just been sky and talking, but I'd rather talk to you like this. So, quick nugget of wisdom that central Indiana, as I was leaving, driving down I-74, Interstate Highway, in case you're not from the U.S. I was driving west on 74 from the Indianapolis area, south of Indianapolis where I came from. And I was driving towards Champaign, Illinois, Peoria, <clears throat> basically west. I'm going to be heading north too, but not yet. And the nugget of wisdom that Indiana taught me right towards the end, plus listening to Sufjan Stevens' Carrie and Lowell. Um, and a little bit of Adrian Lenker's Hours Were the Birds album. And the road, and those albums, and my own experiences as re rambled about in the last video, all collectively taught me, and some billboards, <laughs> getting to the point. Hey birds. I'm in front of a cannabis shop called Sunnyside like literally over the border that's hilarious so yeah illinois is a legal state i didn't know that's what it was and it said i was like sunny side that's really cute but it looks really unremarkable but then i saw underneath the sign like it said a different kind of cannabis shop i'm like oh my gosh it's weird that only part of the country is on board with that maybe maybe one seventh of the country so far i don't know who knows I don't have strong opinions. Actually, I do. Because a lot of people I love smoke weed, and I don't like that it has to be something criminal. I think that's weird. How is it any more criminal than getting drunk all the time and watching football or any other thing that people do when they drink a lot? Or being alcoholic and being abusive. How is smoking weed and being calmer? I mean, all substances have their destructive abilities. Oh, that's funny that I'm in front of a weed shop as I'm saying this, because I was just eating too much popcorn, because overeating is mine. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. So anyway, I was thinking about alcohol, overeating, and something else. I can't remember why this came into my brain, but Anyway, the nugget of wisdom is this. Do not make the solution into the problem. Don't do it. Don't attack the solution. Don't constantly talk about the solution as if it's a problem. So what do I mean by this? Well, overeating, as I learned while relaxing my own heart out in southern Indiana, overeating is a solution to the way I treat myself. Overeating is a way of caring for myself. Overeating is a way of saying, hey, you deserve to relax and have fun. And just be a person, not have an agenda, not have a goal, not need to be anything, do anything, change anything about yourself not need to go against your instincts you can just use your own hunger and your own body's cues telling you when you're full I, I always try to mix it up with other ways to relax like having a glass of wine or a beer but it's I think I even one night had a soda like a diet Virgil's orange soda with um, a shot of like raspberry vodka or something it was weird. It was good, but like I'm not a big drinker anymore. Probably because of my past, but also I just, I don't know, I don't like that flushed feeling. I don't like getting super drunk. It doesn't make me feel good to not be in control of my behavior. I remember when I was young, that's exactly why I liked drinking. I liked having something to blame my behavior on. So then I could behave the way I secretly wanted to behave, which was either crazy or wild or whatever, and I could just blame it on the alcohol. And it literally was because of the alcohol a lot of the time. So it became a little chicken and egg. Anyway, I don't want to stop for a long time, but that's the nugget of wisdom. Are you with an alcoholic? Are you an alcoholic? Are you with an overeater who just is always talking about wanting to lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds? They probably feel really ashamed of it. I know I do. 
I feel really ashamed of my weight. I don't feel good about it just because modern culture is starting to celebrate all different body types because I've had both body types. I have been, because of anorexia and bulimia, and granted maybe a mild untreated form, but <clears throat> I mean, I just tend to be pretty independent, but I've gotten help over the years for all kinds of different things. and. I was in four 12-step groups at one point, and even those I tried to do in an overachiever way. I wrote a fourth step that was 200 pages long, so I don't really need to be preached to if you want to put things in the comments. Like, yes, I have tried healing all kinds of things through conventional means, and I just believe more in creativity and vlogging. It just helps me more than having a new authority figure in my life, AKA therapist, books in 12 step worlds. And it's like, all I've ever done is just end up wanting to please that authority figure. I don't actually heal, no offense, but I learn a lot. Too much of an A student to have a slew of authority figures. Anyway, don't make the solution into a problem. problem into a problem. <laughs> well, the problem is the problem. What's the problem? The problem is you. The problem is us. The problem is me too. Me too. The problem is being alive. The problem is feeling your life. The problem is wanting more. Wanting things. What for? What for? What for? The problem is being yourself. The problem is that restless want, that restless need for your own health or others. The problem is being alive. The problem is wanting to thrive. The problem is wanting too much, too much, too much, too much for your life. For your one little life For your one great big little life For your one great big life And I am a soldier of feeling things Like diamond rings Like bird wings Like flying in air Compass on parade and like being saved and saving everyone with you too. Cause that's what new things are gonna do. We're not just gonna keep that information and try to sell it to you. see him. Boop. No, that's probably not where he is in the screen. Uh, he's right by the little hole thing. Hang on. Over there. Uh. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Now fly. Fly. Don't go by that sewage. <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna just feel the land for a second. I, don't, I can't really show you the cannabis sign. This place is weird. Hi, buddy. You just hanging out in garbage? You wanna sing? There you go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there's the building. Now he's up there on the lamp post. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> That's a great call. calling all his friends. A big old flock started coming over. <laughs> Can you 
Can you hear his call? I hope so. I'm gonna leave my running car in a cannabis shop parking lot. Oh my gosh, his call is so cute. I don't think I knew. I did not know the Red Wing. <laughs> didn't know the Red Wing Blackbird. Okay, and that little shop is called Sunnyside. So if you're ever in Danville, Illinois, on the border of central Indiana, on the way or to or from Champaign, Urbana, which is a big college town. There's also Bloomington Normal, which is another college town. Let's feel the land. Land feels good. Good choice, Red Wing Blackbird. Cute place. Great farmy. <laughs> I'm learning bird calls. I think that's gonna be my new thing because I'm trying to get into Pokemon Go for Brian and my sister's uh, kids are into it too. And I've been on and off playing it just sort of for Brian, but I, I like it. But I think I would like learning bird calls better. <laughs> so maybe I'll get a birding book someday. Cool. Bye, buddy. One more. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Bye.